Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing you guys a quick simple video today that really helped me out a lot with squad. I hope you guys find that way too if you guys are having the same problem. Uh, this video is going to be how to fix or maybe just prevent um, the kernel error for squad when you're playing and you just get random crashes in game. Uh, this was happening to me a lot. I found that it would happen at random times. Like say a grenade gets thrown off in the room next to me, it would blow up and create like a like a graphic spike, I guess you could ca call it. And that's kind of why this problem is happening with most people and I'll show you why in a second. But uh, in order to fix that, you're gonna wanna go to control panel. Uh, oh, fucking was it again? Uh, system and security, power options, and then you want to go to change plan settings, change advanced settings, oh fuck me, uh, come down to PCI Express, link state power management, and set that to off. This used to be set to off on earlier um, NVIDIA and GeForce drivers, but with the recent ones they've been turning this on for like moderate or high. Now what this does well, not does, but um, what happens is that freaking uh, in-game, why the, why we get this error in-game, say, is like a lot of stuff's going on around us. And then you get an RPG shot at you right next to you and it blows up at your feet. Now that is creating, uh, it's spiking the GPU. Now this link, link state power management kind of monitors the GPU. And when this is set to moderate or high, it was causing an error where it would deny the GPU to like have the extra required force that it needs in order to play the game and it was causing a driver error which would then c crash the game to the desktop and throw us the UE4 fucking um, crash you do not have the proper call stack to view whatever it just throws us this weird crash every 10-15 minutes in the game and it was getting really annoying uh, so with this set to off it doesn't monitor your GPU, so it uh, won't throw the driver error as often. Now, with that being said, last night I was playing for three and a half hours and it crashed. Besides 15 minutes or 10 minutes and it crashing. So, I mean, like, it's better than nothing at this point. Let's be real. If we love the game, it's better than crashing every 15 minutes, okay? Three and a half hours, I'm pretty sure we can cope with that. I was pretty ecstatic at that. I'm not going to lie. But... Uh, also, another thing I did just to, you know, increase, uh, someone on online was uh, saying it was going to help them out or might have helped them out. So I just disabled the Steam overlay in game. And to do that, you just go to settings, interface, and uh, where was it? Or, sorry, in game. Enable the Steam overlay while in game and uncheck that. That usually is checked. Uncheck that. And after that, guys, uh, it should work, although this probably won't work for everybody like most things, but it'll work for the majority. I know that sounds harsh, but who knows? Some of you guys might have different problems, but for people with older spec PCs that can still play games at like high quality, um, it might not just be for older PCs either. I'm not saying that, but I'm... Um, this crap, this fix really helped me, honestly, like three and a half hours compared to 15 minutes. That's a big step. Uh, it really bothered me that squad did not respond to us at all on the forums or anything. Like, I saw it a couple times on there, a couple threads about, um, the uh, bug that we were having and they did not respond at all, so... I was quite surprised, but uh, yeah, this is how you guys fix the squad uh, kernel error glitch, or not glitch, bug. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys find that it works for you, please click the like and uh, thumbs up. Thanks.